we're beginning the installation of the work and you have this expectation of what it's going to be like but actually standing in front of them is totally different everyone has been assuming that the four nudes will be on one wall i'm pretty sure that they're going to end up on two walls then how do you split them how do you integrate the sculpture how do they sit in relation to each other how are they lit do you create an equal interval or do you group two and then one i've already listed about 10 or 15 possibilities that's the multiplicity of decisions that you're making all the time even though you've got certain already fixed points we're in the middle of the installation uh, there's a lot happening around us and then this one needs to move to the left another two yeah. needs to move to the left yeah. the ambition is always to try and reveal how the artist's thinking developed when you come into this room, you're looking at a really tight group of work where you can really almost trace on an hourly basis how his thinking was evolving. When that comes in, I just want to try one other crazy thing. What do you want to do? Put it down there and pull the sculpture here. Okay. The four blue nudes and the sculptures is really a pivotal room in the show. It's the moment when Matisse really developed a completely free way of working. These are not works that are made from drawing in front of the model. They're entirely made from memory. And you have that sense of almost a kind of quiver of excitement as he makes these forms and he refers back to his own production in sculpture. So we now have four, two, two one, one three. three. Swap those two. The four blue nudes were all conceived very close together in 1952, and then they were split up. Occasionally, they've been seen together in exhibitions, but this is really a very rare moment. Actually, the nice thing about this now is that one, two, three, four, but this is actually the first one you see, which is the first one he began, so... Great. That's great, so we've got it, yeah. I think I'm happy with it, but we're about to see it go up on the wall, and then we'll know. Here we are, it's a sculptor, it's a painter, it's an artist who is looking back over his life and thinking about what he's made before. Because he was really trying to work out how to represent the body, but also how to represent the way in which the body holds itself and falls, it has much more emotional depth to it, I think. Conventionally, they are shown all four on one wall, but we've decided to split them so we end up now with a very happy circumstance. Somehow, they just control the space and they, in a way, oblige you to walk around in a particular way. It's undoubtedly one of the high points of the show. <laughs>